Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started with our, I think we'll go, well, this Tadpole might be an interesting deck. Let's try it out at least once. we got to get 100 points, so let's maybe try Squirrel, Fish, um, Annoying Starters, and what else do we want to do? Um, maybe Single Candle to cut down on some of these. Definitely don't want boss tone fights, and I guess we'll turn off no boss rares and no clover, maybe. Okay, I have no idea how this deck is going to work out, so that could be a problem, or choosing the uh, aqua squirrels might be a problem too. So a tadpole, I'm assuming, turns into a frog or something, but it'll be more powerful than that, I think. Actually, no, they'd have two health. I don't think about it. I think that there are one and two, but we'll see. Um, hmm. Well, I think that we got kind of some interesting openness here. Um, it would be cool if I could duplicate it, get fecundity and um, undying on the Gek so that I could have them over and over. So I think I'm gonna go with that and we'll get the black goat as well. Just having a card that I can deploy um, over and over at no cost would be pretty sweet. And why not go ahead and put us a Gek on the board there? Okay. We don't want to burn it, so we will keep going. Once we find out what this tadpole is, we'll uh, see if it's worth keeping or not. I think I'll go ahead and play it now just to get an idea. Oh, the Aqua Squirrel. Um, looks like it doesn't need anything, so I could put down the rabbit and instead go like that. There we go. And we'll play the tadpole over here and see what happens. Oh, it just turns into a bullfrog. Well, that's not super useful. Huh. I'm not sure what the point of having the tadpole is. I have to think about those abilities and uh, whether or not it's a good idea, I suppose. I guess one strategy is using its sigils for something else. Um, let's see. I don't have any pelts, so going, or I don't really have enough tea, so going there doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I'll pursue getting a sigil for uh, a totem. Hey, cockroach, cool. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go sharp quills, why not? Let me look for just a second the tadpole, waterborn, and fledgling. If we put that on anything else, would that help? I guess technically you could put it on the Gek and it would be undying, but then damage would be done. Um, so I don't see the point there. Um, hmm. Maybe using it on something else, like a black goat or something, could make sense. I don't know. I want to think about that. All right, mole and raven egg. Having the rabbit's nice because it does give me the ability to deploy a second or a two blood card right away, so that's not bad. And with our black goat, we will get us the other field mouse on the board, and it'll take out that raven egg. Sweet. I wonder if this is going to be a really overpowered deck, ultimately. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go with a canine. And we got a coyote. Let's do another fireplace event, why not? I see a woodcarver event coming up anyways. 
We can get us uh, another boosted up Gek. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll do it. That way we can maybe duplicate it or um, something here in a little while and get us an Uber Gek made. All right, porcupine and an elk fawn. Well, hmm. Do you have the tadpole that's sitting there ready to roll? I guess we could put the tadpole in the lane for, um, oh yeah, and it is zero cost, so I guess that's another thing that would be good about it. Um, Fortunately, we're just going to have to kind of leave it as is for the moment because I wasn't paying attention that it's also zero cost. So it's okay though. Bullfrog should be able to take out the elk fawn right away. And we're going to get our field mice down and still don't have enough to uh, get our coyote out. So we'll just have to stick with what we got here. Surprised he hasn't deployed another card yet. Here we are. Now we should have enough to get our Cody down as well. Nice, clean sweep. We'll head up to the uh Wood Carver event. Okay, Wriggling Tail. I think we'll go with this just to have something completed. Well, I'm not a huge fan of Wriggling Tail. It seems to kind of cause problems from time to time, you know? All right, who are we gonna put stuff on? Like, I kind of want to take the field mice and put it on the Gek. Um, However, I wonder if that's a bad move. Because having a gek that could regenerate would be better than having this too. Um, this no cost tadpole, it's kind of nice. Maybe putting that on it instead and getting two frogs out of it would be smarter. So I'd like to duplicate the gek. Um, or I could make rabbits that we uh, spawn an extra rabbit trying to think of what else I could do here. It might be smart. It would allow me to generate um, a fair bit more. Maybe I'll do that. It's kind of a weird way of doing things, but it gives me fuel for uh, getting the higher order, you know, cards. So we'll see. Okay, bullfrogs, sleeping traps, and our strange frogs, as usual. Um, now, I could use a cockroach if I get enough bone um, quickly to make that happen. Let's see. Well, none of these are really going to be worth playing. So, it looks like I can just take three damage right off the bat. That's not the best situation. Um, I think I want to have to just wait. Hopefully I draw something that's playable here. Yay. Um, but is it enough? Let's see. So we'll get us our dire wolf on the board. And they're going to do two damage, so I need to block one of these. And I think that's going to force me to use my squirrel, or else they're going to um, overwhelm me here. So let's just put a squirrel down and... Um, let it go on. There we go. I guess that I should have remembered the striking was going to happen. I haven't played in a few days, so <laughs> um, lost track of what's possible here, I guess. Okay. Let's just play our tab hole over here, and um, well, the leapy trap is going to take it out. Darn it. There we go. Okay, never mind. We'll lose our bullfrog, but that's okay because we have um, plenty else to go.
we need those pelts too. Okay. So, let's see. Hmm. If I play the Aqua Squirrel, then the frogs are just going to hit me, so maybe I could play the Cockroach. And um, I think our Dire Wolf would almost win, anyways, but let's just see what happens here. Yep. So we're only going to have like two cards to trade in, which isn't really the best situation. That's okay. My Dire Wolf will generate a lot that I can actually take off these front two, and I think I'd be okay. Um, so, let's see. Flying Ant's gonna do two, or... Yeah, let's just take off these guys, and that should be enough to get me going. Um, what other cards we have? Coyote is worth four bone, but I don't have any bone to spin. I could get a Worker Ant down, um, or a Rabbit with Fecundity and that would generate another one so we play the worker ant and the skunk if I wanted to um, and that would be fine so let's do our skunk here and we'll do our worker ant over there cool and that'll be that I think we're gonna win anyways but just always want to make sure I have overkill if I can to get teeth or um, make 100% sure I'm safe. Okay, how about a cuckoo? Why not? Hey, there's a duplication event. Perfect. Definitely want to take advantage of that so we can have us a, another gek. Ooh, millworm. Hmm. That is tempting. I could maybe put it in the flames, but I'm not sure how many events we'll have. Guess we'll do it though. Alright. Oh, interesting. I got rid of my annoying sigil. Having that higher defense will make it not so bad to you, I think, having that guardian sigil, so I think that we can tolerate that change. Oh, wolf cub with mighty leap. Oh boy. Um, I suppose placing the tadpole in its way will be enough to, uh, work out all right well i'll put darn aqua squirrel down whoopsie um that's okay i could sacrifice the black goat but i don't know we'll see how this goes i think i'm playing single candle here so i'm probably screwed unless we get really lucky with their whatever's here yeah i'm gonna have to drag over something i think um to have a chance at winning here so we'll go ahead and take our porcupine on reddit, which is like a pretty lame thing to drag, but oh well. Um, we don't have enough teeth to really get anything else going, so let's see. I guess playing our rabbit over there is our only real chance of surviving all this mess, so let's go ahead and let it go. Up oh, seven damage, wow. All right, let's see. The cockroach. Well, this is like comically bad. Um, so they're gonna do six damage if I don't play anything, um, and three damage, anyways. But that bullfrog and stuff's there. I really don't have much of a choice. Um, we're just gonna have to keep trying to stay alive here, I guess. Oh, yeah, too much damage already. Wow. Okay. And a cuckoo. A little cuckoo. Yep, looks like I uh, definitely lost because bad run. So I'm going to go ahead and end the run and we will um, do a new one. I don't think I really like that deck anyways. Um, 
it just unless I'm missing it, it just doesn't seem to really be competitive for the amount of points that we need to get. So I think I'm going to try to stick with the old uh, Mantis standby here, and we'll see if it does a little bit better this time. Okay. I'm going to have to look at some strategies for that other one, because I just I did not see it. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe putting the tadpole stuff on the Gek um, could have been interesting, but I don't know. I'm just gonna have to think about that. That was really a uh, weird set, I'd say. I don't think I like the red heart. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty tough. I mean, I guess you could get a really overpowering one, but at most it'd only be, I don't know, equal to the number of sacrifices you make laying down other cards, so. And then just one turn, hmm. All right, let's get these two guys. Maybe we'll get us a super buff mealworm um, once we feed one of our ringworms to the fire. Come on, burn it, burn it, burn it, eat it. Yes, perfect. I wonder if the more you click, the more likely it is to happen because they see that you're excited. <laughs> that would be a funny little Easter egg. Okay. All right, Bullfrog. Let's see. And I can attack it with exactly nothing. Um, so let's just move on to the next turn, I suppose. And Mantis God is our only thing. Um, ooh, that's not good. With it running around like that. Um, because it won't be able to kill it. So, what are we going to do to get past this? I guess we're going to have to use our squirrel and just leave it sitting there. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Okay. Um, yeah. It's looking like I won't be able to win this. Like... I technically don't have enough here to win. Like I can pull in this guy with the hook. Um, so that's already a terrible run. I'm gonna in this one too, cause that's just not, I don't think that's gonna hold up having to use the hook that quickly. So I, mean, I know I've gone f better distance than just that, but that was horrible within the very first sight. <laughs> Maybe I'll get something offensive here instead of two building cards um okay a beaver beaver works fine okay and let's see if we get lucky again this time and can um burn one of these worms again oh no now we got a powerful ringworm situation going on that's okay only one blood it'll be useful Maybe I'll uh, focus on just giving the Mantis God incremental upgrades instead or something. Here we go. Alright, here comes our powerful ringworm. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Wild Bull, Turkey Vulture, and Raven. Hmm. Let's do... Hard choice, hard choice. It's Wild Bull. Now we should get a pack rat out of this. Come on, little buddy. Thank you. Okay. Milk fawn and mole. Let's see. And it's waterborne too. I'm gonna be moving around. 
So I won't be able to kill it. I think the Mantis God will build it. No, the mole is going to be a problem too. So I think if we could start the Mantis God, but we are going to have issues um, either way. So let's put it over here and we'll see how long it'll last. Unfortunately, the mole is going to block both of its attacks. Um, that's okay. We'll uh, get us out our pack rat and maybe we'll get lucky and make a little bit of a change here. Hey, an hourglass. That's good. Good. I think that this is just about a done deal now. Oh yeah, you may concede, but I'm not going to, bud. Alright. Time for our wild bull to come in and wreck some stuff. Give me those teeth. <laughs> now if I can replace the pliers with something else when I play the pack rat, that would be really cool. Uh, let's see. Let's get our wolf cub, and that way we'll um, use the dam building ability for something else. Alright, sigils. So, I could have a beaver, or I could put it on the wolf cub, and it would produce dams that attack. So, I think that's how I'm going to do it. That's a really powerful card, and with the cost of only one blood, um, I was able to do some pretty funny stuff. So, or I could have it be two and five. But I think with one blood, that would just be really hard to beat. So I could have a chance at having it, um, you know, in my first draw. So we'll go with it like that. I'm pretty sure the game forces uh, having at least a single blood card in your hand. For better or worse. Okay. Let's see, a raven egg, guardian. Hmm. I think I'll save up for a turn and we'll get our pack rat down and we'll pull a tooth. And the pack rat will take out our raven egg. There we go. And scissors, wow. Got some powerful cards out of this current arrangement. And a ringworm. Cool. There we go. We're gonna turn this around here in just a second. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Strong ending here. Should definitely be able to get us some pelts. Okay. I suppose it's time to go to the fire again. Um, yeah, let's do it. Interesting. Let's do magpie. Maybe I could put it on the stronger roundworm. Alright, let's see if this one will go up in flame. Yep, there we go. Don't know if it was the best trade ever, but we'll see. Another pack rat. <laughs> All right, hopefully this will go better than the last one and I'll get at least three pelts for the um, trade phase. Okay, let's see. Hmm, playing our Mantis God, this isn't a strong proposition, fortunately. Saving up for Magpie doesn't help a lot either because it's airborne. Um, but it would help me search for other cards. I'm trying to think of, I guess we we'll just have to play our Mantis God to start here, and that'll get some damage all around at least. We're going to lose it, so how do we react to that? Um, yeah, they're going to do three damage, and it's going to put me really dangerously close. So. 
tempted to say let's use the hook and keep the other two. Um, and that would allow me enough time to kind of recover. Let's see. Maybe I'll use the scissors. I'll take out the bullfrog and keep the others. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we have enough time to turn this around now. Okay, pack rack can come in and it'll do two damage and that will equal out. Plus we'll get a new item. Here we go. Okay. Let's see, a possum. Okay, so let's take out this guy. Okay. We'll still be making positive progress. Okay, magpie can take out this uh, leaping trap. We'll just go with this one over here. And let's go ahead and get guess our wolf cub out. We'll use it in the final fights. That'll be our first um, pelt. Okay, and let's draw from over here. We've got our attacking ringworm, so we'll use it on this other strange frog. Actually, I think I'll use it on the uh, leaping trap so that we'll get rid of it. Cool. Hopefully we'll have enough time to get rid of that other strange frog. Hmm. Don't have quite enough yet. I think I will if I take this squirrel though. There we go. And let's do it like this. Oh, another hourglass. Sweet. We're gonna have just enough to finish this off. It's gonna be tight though. Okay. I think I'll play the wolf cub and I'll clear out the lane that it's in because I'll have four to trade, anyways. So let's see. Yeah, let's just do this. Here we go. All right. Wolf Cub time. It's going to make our awesome dams too. There we go. And what else can we play? I think that might be it. All right. Let's see. Nothing else to play here right now. Wolf is going to perish under the elk, unfortunately. The pack rat will keep us going and take out the elk. So we could play just about anything. Um, let's see. Why not a porcupine or something? Hmm. Yeah, why not a porcupine? Let's just do it. It might actually win it for us too. There we go. Didn't have to see our wolf uh, get blasted away. Nice. Ooh, we could get another wild bull and um, in a duplicate event, get it covered up. So be six and four and much more viable at that point. Stronger than a grizzly. I think that's doable. Reasonable, even. Another wild bull. Can you believe that? Um, let's see. I'm not a huge fan of any of these, but I guess let's go with the ant queen. I don't need another pack rat. Um, do you see a fungus event up there? That would be nice to go to. I can't make out what this is. Sadly, like... I really don't want to go to the items. Let's see about sigil swap. See if there's one that makes sense. Maybe putting the magpies on this ringworm would be good. Um, is it still viable? Hmm. I could do that. I wish I could tell if that's a fire or not, but oh well. 
Yep, it was a fire. Darn it. I'm gonna miss it now. Alright. This will let me search the cards more quickly at least. Okay, pronghorn with mighty leap and a mole. Um, let's see, now Mantis God could come out, hit this thing up pretty hard. Or we could do something else. Let's see, that bifurcated strike is just such a hard hitter. Um, I think we will go with Mantis God first, and then maybe we'll play the wolf cub over elsewhere. Okay, and let's do our, um, let's say we put our possum here, and we'll put our wolf cub right here. There you go. Well, may have to use some uh, power-ups here. I'm starting to get a little bit worried I might lose this, but... I don't know. We will take out both these elf pawns in one hit, so that's not too bad. And the wolf will get its revenge on the pronghorn momentarily. There we go. I might be okay now. I could use this since I want to use the pack rat. Okay. Boulder is not too great, but that's okay. That's right, you'll pass. It's the law. <laughs> Golden pill, heck yeah. We'll keep the rest. And I think it will do a wild bull, but let me see. Pack rat sounds interesting to be more viable, but I don't know, having a strong wild bull, since it costs the same amount of blood, I think that would be a better situation, because at least the pack rat would keep getting me items, you know, having them separate. Alright. Everything's been unfortunately placed for the wolf cub that I can't get the dams to mature in time. So that's really stunk. Um, let's see. I could still get it on the board just to deploy protect against the coyote at least. And I could play the golden pelt here to protect against the porcupine. That's not too bad. And yet we are going to have a coyote come in that's going to wreck our wolf right away. So that's not cool. Let's draw from here. Alright, there's our shady little ringworm. Um, let's see, I guess we'll play a boulder in front of this coyote for the moment. We're going to be so close, but still miss it. This ringworm um, can deploy over here on the rabbit, though. And that gets us access to our Mantis God. And um, yeah, I think we're going to win now. Okay. Kind of a weird route, but having that search ability really helps. Oh, another ant queen. Hmm. Let's do it. I think I'll hit up that fire event too. Hmm. None of these are feeling particularly good. I don't think I have any birds or reptiles, because that counts as a insect. So I guess let's go with the airborne sigil just to have something. We'll head up to the fires. Oh, there's two of them in a row, actually. That'll help make up for the one I missed. Maybe we can get our mantis god performing at a high level.
Okay. Jeez, look at all this. Alright, I guess we're gonna put this in front of the porcupine. Actually, maybe the sparrow would be better. Okay, hopefully this gets this enough on the board. I hope I didn't miscalculate here. I think I did. Four, five. Okay, that's so close. Um, let's see. Our queen and our worker ant are going to help take some of this out. Um, I think I want to put this in front of this stoat. Because the mantis gods want to take care of that. And, um, yeah, so ant queen will take that out. And then Mantis God will take that guy out and then do a damage on that. But then they're still going to have plus two. And then the Worker Ant will get two and cancel it out. Um, so overall will be plus one, I think. And um, yeah, I think we're okay now. Hope I didn't miscalculate there, but I think we're okay. Okay, yep, we're good. Ringworm. And I think that we still may be on the right track here, so we'll keep playing. Okay. Now we can search for our cards again, and we'll just put a possum down to block off that stoat. Okay, pack rat. We'll definitely take it so we can get us another item. Ooh, and we got scissors. Basically, got one of the best sets here now. I'd love to be able to keep that until the final boss, because cutting a card, pulling a card, and skipping a turn would really make us speed through things. Alright, let's see. Direwolf pup. It's two sigils would be pretty excellent. And another Mantis God. Heck yeah. Um, that's sounding pretty good, but this Mole Man sounds interesting too, because I can make it attack using the Direwolf Pup's abilities. It's a bit unconventional, but having it block in that final fight I think would be particularly good. All right. So let's see. I mean, I could buff the Mole Man up here and now, but the Mantis God is this one. Um, so let me think. Is there anything else I'd rather do that with? I think the Mantis God is a clear winner. So now it's going up to nine attack damage, up from three. So and if I get to buff its health here too, I'll be in a really strong situation. So. There we go. Okay. In this situation is a dire one with it being able to turn things into, uh, um, you know, a boulder. So it doesn't work out well here, unfortunately. But I think I could play the Mantis God and be safe um, getting into the next phase. We'll see. I'll lose access to the pack mule though, so that may have been a little bit of a dumb idea. Maybe I should have played it after they came down and did a little damage. I think I'll have time to draw for my direwolf pup though, and that'll turn it around. Make it basically impossible for them to recover. Um, he's going to come after me though, so yeah. Let's see, I can use something against them though. Might as well cut them. Not have to worry about them. We'll get us a new item. Here we go. I don't think that he'll be able to come back from that. Yep, not in time. Oopsie. I drew the wrong card. Oh well. Hey, new me. How are you doing? Good to see you.
All right, let's see what we can draw here. Nice, good to hear you're doing well. Let's see. I guess a raccoon, why not? So I think we have one more normal boss battle left, and then we'll be on to the big league. And I think we're going to duplicate our Mantis God, because that's the way to do things. Um, I'm playing with the Mantis God and two Ringworms deck right now, and uh, so far it's been doing pretty great. I've uh, been able to upgrade my cards pretty well and stay strong, so... Oh, the starter. Okay. I'll show it to you here in just a moment. Here it is. It's kind of a weird mix. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. I think I'll take the millworm because getting to absorb its energy will be nice. Hopefully I can put it through um, the flames as well. And we'll duplicate our mantis god to have a better chance at um, drawing one of them. Nope, I've only got the um, airborne sigil for the totem, and I need to get a head for it. Um, so I'm unfortunately in a little bit behind in that regard right now. Let's see. I guess let's put down our mole man and have him block some damage for a little bit. Oh no, this is not a good situation. I um, guess we need to get our bees inside here. So let's see. We'll do this number, and we'll do that, and possum will get us a bee. And um, I may have to pull over the rattler or something here in a moment. Um, I think I can survive this first onslaught, but not for long. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see now. I think I've got to pull over the rattler, or else I'm donezo. Um, I did the bone so that I could get the um, possum because I was. Yeah, yeah, I could have done that too. Um, but I was hoping to get the bee. That may have been a misplay. I think you might be right. So let's do this. Here's our Mantis God, and that would put quite a bit of damage on the board. Um, but I don't think enough. So let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I probably just had a misplay and got excited. <laughs> um, that's all right. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Let's see. Um, Getting rid of the Rattler lane. It would leave that other adder coming in. So the wild bull could decimate that, but then we still have the two adders. But we would survive that, I believe. So I think that I can make that work. And I'll pull one if I need to, but I'm pretty sure that's going to work. So the wild bull will hit the Rattler taking it out and the adder. Um, but these here are going to get stronger, so that's still the main problem here. Um, so I think that we're going to need to pull something over. Heck, we may just go and have to use everything. Um, let's just go ahead and do a pull here, and then let's see. I think we'll be okay, because the adder is going to do two damage. Or I could put down the Mantis God now as well, and that'll take it out, and we'll be okay. So really weird set there, but no chance of losing now. There we go. So I hated to use my hookup, but 
that's uh, kind of the price I paid for having a misplay earlier. Oh well. Let's see. I have enough teeth, I could go up here and get some more. Let's see, uh, we have Beehive, Kingfisher, and Skink. Let's try out this one. I would get the hive, but I'm so late in the game, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make use of it, unfortunately. Um, it's, uh, it is one of my favorites, but I usually like to buff it with the, um, fires, but I'm, like, almost to the boss, so I don't think I'll be able to make use of it now, or at least not as good of a use. Hey, got my wolf cub. Um, we'll definitely play it right away. So watch what happens. I don't know if you've seen what happens with dams when they have fledgling, but it's pretty funny. So check us out. <laughs> All right, we've got power now. <laughs> oh, it just really cracks me up. First time I saw that, I just laughed and laughed. All right, so we're going to get four damage and um, we don't have enough to continue. Let's see. Could have him skip a turn. I think I want to do that, so we'll just get another item with the pack rat, because I don't want to go completely empty here. Since we know we're going to lose the wolf. There we go. Oh, well, we got bones out of that. Darn it. But yeah, I haven't played in a few days, so I'm a little bit out of my normal rhythm. I've made a few funny mistakes that I don't think I would have made if I hadn't have taken a little break. <laughs> Let's see. I probably got something good to sacrifice. Maybe Possum or the Raccoon. Possum is the only thing that takes bone, though. No, I got the millworm, too. Maybe I'll do the, uh... Poss. Um, I don't know. This is a hard one. It does have the annoying on it, so I think... Yeah, I'm going back and forth. The raccoon, I don't really need. But the possum also has annoying on it, so that makes me a little bit worried. I mean, not that it matters, I guess, because it's still going to get obliterated, so... I'm going to do the raccoon one thing less that requires it. Now I'll be able to play the possum more quickly, so. Alright, Mantis God right away. So we are good to go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see what kind of duplicates do we have. We have ant queens. We have. I think that might be it. We do have the two pack rats as well. Um, so I could go to a fire event. Well, I do have the mantis god that I could do. And that would be pretty uber at be able to do. Uh, quite strong. Uh, the bughead. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. What are you talking about for the totem? Oh, so you're talking for the totem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I don't see the point of the tadpole. I think I want to avoid it. It doesn't seem very useful. Getting a, but having a free bullfrog, I guess that's not a horrible idea. Yeah, I guess being free is a good point. It's kind of like a enhanced geck becoming a bullfrog, so at least it has a sigil to you. Yeah, I'll go with it. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. I think I'll take it just to have a backup here. Oh, bifurcated strike. Good. That'll make my... Uh, wolf cub with its dams that have attack power way stronger so i'm going to get this and i'm going to put it on the wolf cub so that it's more viable 
and its dams can keep attacking with me for a while. Here we go. If I get to play that card, it'll be pretty devastating now. I'll have full coverage of the board if I get it in one of the other two lanes. And bait buckets are already deployed. That's not good. Alright, I guess I could deploy Mole Man. That would block our Raven situation. Okay. Let's do... I guess we've got to put down something, so we'll do that and that'll block that Great White from coming in. Okay. I'm about out of options here, sadly. I think that this one might be a loss. I don't have enough items um, or a good set here, really. Now, could generate... Well, Beehive doesn't block Airborne. So... Sadly, I think I just drew a bad set here. We're gonna lose our Mole Man. Um, let me think of what else could be done here. Huh. Yep. That bifurcated strike's gonna get me in trouble too because it's gonna go, you know, either way. I wish I could strike just that place for that bait bucket getting activated. It's gonna be the end of me, um, unfortunately. So. Let's just draw over here, and I think we're just going to have to take a loss. Um, he's going to drag after the raven attacks, but that's already going to tip the scales. So that's going to be it, I believe. <sighs> what a shame. That was awful. <laughs> okay, then. I think I'll give it one more playthrough real quick. Maybe we'll get a little bit better luck. Ah, geez, what a tough run. Maybe I'll get through uh, buffing up my Mantis God a little bit more quickly this time or something. All right, Field Mice. Sounds pretty good. And a Tadpole. We'll take it, why not? And, hmm, if I did put that on the Mantis God and have a second one, it'd be okay, because I could just buff up the one Mantis God. I think I'll, I'll do that. A little bit unorthodox, but, hmm, yeah, save the mice, yeah, maybe I will. Sometimes I do that, but I really like having get to duplicate the Mantis God and um, have separate sigils on them so that I can then use a fungi event so that I have like maybe double strike and something else like undying on there. That's just really, really nice when it happens like that. Okay. Um, well, for Mantis God, I like having the Sigil um, Double Strike added, the one that you get from the, I think it's called Double Strike, from the, because um, there's Trifurcated, comes with the uh, Mantis God. So um, I do like to get the um, the cockroaches are dying. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying I like to have trifurcated and bifurcated, or, or a double strike. And uh, the reason why I like the, the double strike is um, just the hitting, hitting forward again. Because sometimes that when you get the Mantis God strong enough, you can not only kill what's in front of you, but also strike the empty space. Um, so it is more damage, you're right. Um, but, but yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, I haven't tried the roach hive. So is that just uh, so you can harvest um, bees? I think I did that actually a few streams ago, now that I think about it. Because I remembered um, generating bees that would, when they died, they came back or something, if I remember correctly. So I think I, I have done what you're talking about. And maybe I will do that now that I just got another roach. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I did do that once or twice. I had a really good game that I was like destined to win. And then the AI did something really weird and stupid and beat me. Like I think it saw, I think it used a Lamarckire or something against me unexpected. I have to go back and watch some of my older videos and see what happened. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This pronghorn with, uh, it's airborne, it's kind of funny watching it, not able to really stop me at all. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll head up to the fire event again. Oh, let's see. Hmm. I think I'll go with goat. Oh, roach warren. Yeah, that may have been a good one too. Took the goat just in case I can get on the ramp here with uh, some bigger attacks. Let's see. I'll go ahead and get the Mantis God buffed up. Okay. Well, we could put our Mantis God and just go ahead and call this a quick match. definitely a little bit overpowered but it's nice to be able to get through a match quickly and see if you're going to win by the time you get to the final boss or not without spending too much time all right mantis nice okay so i could cockroach the mantis god and that way it comes back every time and i could do the bifurcated strike mantis god but I do like the double strike a little bit better. Um, so I think, let's see here, what would be good? The roach onto the tadpole. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Um, I think I might go with that to start with. That way I've got something that comes back over and over because the mantis god should be viable for a little bit longer. And if I have time, I'll get the um, mantis onto the mantis god. And I know it'll um, be a little bit stronger, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, good idea about not letting it evolve. That would be most ideal, I think. Then it would start being a, uh, I assume it would go back in my hand as a bullfrog. and be a problem. Yep. That's a good point. All right, I think our mantis could be really handy here. So we'll put it smack tab over here. Okay. All right, let's see. I'll go ahead and pull a tooth and we'll take out our squirrel. And we will put down our pack rat. Hmm. 
another coyote. They're just throwing coyotes at me left and right. Can you believe it? Alright, tadpole, tadpole. Let's see. Could get our field mice down. There we go. Need to sacrifice this ringworm. It's going to be problematic. All right. Just kind of let things keep going as they are, I suppose. Not a lot to worry about. We'll get our Mantis God um, in the next round here. Everything will be peachy. There we go. Give me all those cards. I need them so I can win. Hey, what do you know? It made me win. see Ooh, a great white and a cuckoo interesting I think I'll go with the mantis and maybe I can get me a uh, multiple sigil transplant um, mantis if we have enough time thinking I won't though another cockroach good so Let's see what we've got going on now. Could put that sigil on there, or we could go ahead and duplicate our Mantis God. And if we can get it to be um, both coming back and something else, that would be beautiful. So let's see. All right, cool. Goobert did pretty well. Pack rat, let's see, and our mantis. So bullfrog is gonna be moving around. Let's just do our mantis to start. Oh no, got an alpha incoming. That's not cool. I guess that we will just need to get our black goat on in the case here. Take out the bullfrog. Stop that menace from running around. Alright. Cockroach can take out our adder. That's another threat off the board. Okay. We can... Let's see. That's going to be 5 damage against me, plus the adder coming in to take out the cockroach. Which isn't the best look, so let's get our other field mice on the board and see if we can just about finish this out. There we go. I'll take out the Rattler. It's posing a big threat. Okay. Do this. And now we can hopefully focus on getting rid of that um, darn alpha. Let's see. Not quite yet. We'd have to take both of them out, but that's okay. So we're gonna win it anyways. Alright, let's see. So, I do have a event here that I could join up our Mantis Gods, but then I would miss out the possibility of doing a dual sigil. I could sacrifice a ringworm and that would be nice. Um, there's also another fire event, but hmm, I think getting rid of the ringworm would be a cool idea, so we'll go that way. I 
so many things that I want to do on this one, but just not not enough uh, available steps. It'd be nice if I could hit up all three of the things I want to do right now: going to the fire, doing a sacrifice, and uh, I don't know, maybe another cave event or something. I've only had I think one or two playing today. All right, Cody's and Kingfishers. Well, no problem. We'll just go ahead and play our Mantis God and call it a day. Oh, I didn't see the fungus event, so that'll be a little bit tough, but that's okay. Let's see. Hmm. Another tadpole. I think I'll take it. It'll be kind of like a potential sacrifice. Could solve as a squirrel or serve as a squirrel or something else, you know. Alright, let's see. How about tempting to just to do the mantis so that we have something better? Mantis gods. Yeah, we'll just do this, why not? Maybe I can make it immortal just to have um, one of them and we'll still hold out and see if we can get the mantis gods in their own individual sigils. So that would be so cool. It's rare that I get to do that, but when it happens, it is magical. All right, let's do, let's see, I guess it feels nice. Oh no, all the places for that to land. That's not ideal. Hmm. And the Wolverine's incoming too. So, let's see. Definitely gonna lose our adder, or our uh, field mice. And we could sacrifice it and just let the bullfrog keep hanging out there and instead, like say, get the ant queen down. Um, and then the Wolverine's coming. So. I think I'll just go ahead and pull the bullfrog and we will tough it out from there. There we go. Not the best, not the worst, I guess. We can take out the field or the adder with the field mice or the ant queen. There we go. All right, well this isn't looking all that good. So let's see, I guess we'll have to just do something like that. And wow, so much damage on the board. I don't know if I can win this now. So unfortunately I've got to like drag drag out my, <laughs> well, my cockroach now. I was gonna say drag out my um, mantis god, but alas, it did not happen. Um, I don't think I can win this, so Let's see, if I sacrifice both of those, I could get two damage on the board, but yeah, I think I lost. Um, yeah, yeah, this, uh, wow, let's see, one, that'll knock that out, yep, I think that having that Wolverine take out my card earlier was probably uh, my big mistake, so just have to let this one go. Whew, this 100 point challenge is going to be a hard one, but I think this is only my uh, third attempt at it so far, so um, it took me so long to get, I think, the 80 and 90 point ones, so I'll just have to keep some focus, and uh, we'll try again in our next stream. So go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching, and it's been STR Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.